Hey, how is it going, everybody? And we are back, continuing our two-episode marathon right here. And we are going to take on the legendary. And the reason why I said we're going to use Flygun is because uh, Cryom right here, if I'm pronouncing it right, is really weak against Dragon-type moves. Why is that? Because he's a dragon himself. So, as you can see, he's kind of weak even in defense if the Pokemon's level are the same. But if my Flygon was weaker, he would still beat him because my Flygon is a beast and you can't get up to his level. So, <clears throat> without further ado, let's talk about last episode. Last episode, we took on the person we called the Mystery Man. We found out he works part of, uh, he works with uh, Team Plasma and, uh, yeah, he was controlling the ship, aka boat. But um, now since we defeated the dragon that took us like almost 50, 50 something seconds, yeah, uh, Getsis is really upset, so now we're gonna have to face him, and his sprite right now is looking epically awesome. Look at that. I, I, that is an awesome cane right there. I wish I had one. I, I wish I could get one of those when I get older, you know? So I can walk around and stomp on places and stomp on people's toes and get them upset. <clears throat> but as you can see here, guys, this might be a little upsetting because, uh, for one, he's gonna get you in the toxic like he did right now. Two, he has leftovers that he's doing right now. And three, when he attacks, he's gonna have a uh, protect come up every five seconds. So he might take out my fly gun here. If he doesn't, I'll be lucky and I can use him with a uh, hydro gun and we can take out his hydro gun and end this battle the way we want it to end. But this is episode 44, the fall of Getsus and Team Plasma. Uh, Basically, he's the leader of New Team Plasma. Old Team Plasma, I guess, is sick of this crap. And they helped us out. They helped us get over here. And now, it's up to me to take him out of here. And as you can see, he's using Protect. And one or, one or two of his Pokemon have changed. He has a Toxicroak now, and he has something else different. But the other Pokemon are the same. He, he took out the Boofline, I think it's called. Yeah. Sorry about that, I was drinking the juice pack. <sighs> I gotta keep up my energy. Good, good, enjoyable juice here. Alright, so, um, sorry, sorry about that. If I was drinking something in your ear, I had to get something to drink. Um, this is the part that I thought was really epic, guys. Um, <clears throat> my summer ride is gonna wipe out almost half of his team on just four HP, and I'll tell you how it's gonna all go down. Just let him take this one out first. Yeah, and see now all that fighting with the fly gun. We we should have switched out the summer ride. He would did something about this, but um, yeah, this one is kind of annoying. So. Let's see what we can do against him. Yeah, he goes for that uh, thunder, and um, I did a lot. So right here when I did this, I was kind of scared because I knew he was gonna go for the thunder again and take me out. But I noticed he got on orange, so I said, "Screw it, let me go for the surf. I want to leave a little present for you just in case we take out my summer watch." And look what happens. Takes him down with the surf, two hit KO. And he comes out with this uh, uh, palatode or whatever you call this thing. He goes for the earthquake, and I'm saying to myself, "Oh my God!" He put it on four HP left, and uh, right here it was it was really surprising because when I went for that fighting move and then the surf, I didn't even know the surf was that fast. So I said, "Screw it! I'm gonna go for the surf every time, and I'm gonna rape him where it hurts." So. Now, I, I took out like almost two of his Pokemon on low HP, knowing that they could have easily took me out. I go for the Surf on this thing. 
and this poison type Pokemon is mainly effective against any type of Pokemon if it knows how to get off the toxic spikes. But since it didn't and it didn't do anything, I took it out with one hit. Surprising, but you know, everybody gets their time. And I, I go for the Surf here and it hits the Hydra Gun, but it doesn't do that much. So I'm saying to myself, oh crap, he's done. But we did get a, we did take a, a big chunk out of Getsus' Pokemon, and we took him out of here quickly. Trust me, he only has two left. It's really good, and I know I'm stoked, and I'm gonna win this really easily. Uh, he did get the Intimidate, and his attack went down. Perfectly done. He goes for the Rock Slide, being a punk. So I just go for the Flame Blitz. And it does nothing, so I'm saying to myself, oh my god, he's serious. He goes for another rock slide, being a little noob, that he is. Gets this, you take out my growl off, I'm gonna take your face off. So I go for the takedown, and that is it. <clears throat> Alright, so, I'm thinking about switching out, and yeah, I'm, I, I had to pick another Pokemon now. And the reason why I switched out to Lucario is because, look what just popped up, Toxicro. Alright Lucario, use Psychic and take that thing out. One hit KO. And that's the game guys. Uh, he lost, he only had one Pokemon less from me, but if he had all six, this would have been a good interesting battle. But anyway, your, your coat, your cane, beast looking. I, I, I just love it bro. Keep that style rocking. And for some reason, his plans are foiled again. So, just like in part one, go run away like you regularly do. Well, they locked him up last time. I don't know how he got away, but... Yeah, he gets away this time. I guess Trainer N was probably trying to tell him to stop, man. He was trying to talk to him. For some reason, the color of hair... Oh, he left his little cane there. Can I take it? Um... Yeah, for some reason, Dan and him have the same... No, no, no. Trainer N has the same color hair as Getz's. So, I'm, I'm, I don't know if that's his son. I don't know what is going on. But, yeah. I guess, yeah. He's going... He's telling us to meet him on uh, Victory Road's route. So, yeah. Let's see if we can pick up this cane. If it's an item. Oh, there's Dan. Wow. Speak of the devil. Right at the end of it. You missed everything, bro. It, it was sick. We had legendaries, we, we had evil grown old men that in the 60s carrying around epic canes and we, we, we had a lot of stuff here. Look, look, the canes right here. Uh, okay. Alright, we are out. i sorry guys if I cut that part. I really didn't want to, you know, do it while running through the cave because too many Pokemon encounters. I have no repels on me. Matter of fact, I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center. Team Plasma did this. They destroyed this forest completely. You can run around through the branches to get the items, but I'm not going to go around and get them. You guys enjoy yourselves and run around and get them. Take on some good Pokemon here. And you could get a Metagross here. Trust me. You get a Mammal Swan. And you can evolve it into... I uh, forgot the name, but yeah, I switched my Pokemon. And when I was in the cave... I encountered a random event and the Pokemon hit it one time and it did that much damage. Alright, we are back. I had to cut that right there. Uh, it, yeah, I had to go to the Pokemon Center, give me some repel and all that. So, I'll get these two items because I was watching someone else's walkthrough and these items are pretty good right here. So, yeah, let me get them. Uh, let me see what else is up here. Yeah, it's a long route through this cave, trust me. It, it leads to another spot, but I'm not going through it all. Uh, another thing, guys. Trainer Anna is going to give you a little present. Uh, that's why he told us to meet him on this route. I just figured that out right now. I forget, but nice sun rays right there. It's pretty awesome. Little we'll at you running around. I love the music for this route. Not bad. Nope, I didn't want to get on my bike. Why am I doing Okay, tree over there. Uh, it's pretty cool how the actions that you regularly would do in the old classic Pokemon games and the new ones, like that evolves cutting down trees, pushing rocks, pushing boulders, surfing and all that. Well, strength and rock smash and cutting down trees. Um, 
if you do it once in this game, you don't have to do it again. So that tree that we just saw, if we cut it down, it stays away forever. Meaning, you don't have to keep going and cutting it down. It's permanently gone. Not like in the older games where you gotta constantly keep cutting these stupid things down. Uh, they should have thought about that as soon as they added those type of events. But, um, yeah, those type of events, I don't really know why they added those things in the game. They should have just, like, put people in your way and told them to tell you not to go anywhere. Like the one with the running shoes and fire red. Now, that's a good way of putting it, you know? Or, like, obstacles. Put certain things, like slides, you know? Uh, it's a lot of things they could have thought of with these games, but... You know, Nintendo, they're still awesome, and I love those guys, but um, if you can see right now, Victory Road, they have some tough Pokemon, and I mean tough, I'm not even joking about this, if you want to surf down the stream to get past these trainers, you can, uh, I would do it, but I want to take on these two trainers here, after this, it's about, let me see how big this route is. All I know is this route is huge, huger than any other Pokemon route ever in the game because of all the 3D animations they ever had and the new 3D animations they have in this game. This route looks pretty epic with the mountain tops and the streams going through it. You, you gotta give Nintendo credit guys, this is awesome, I just love it. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of trainers on this route and uh, I'm not taking them all on, I'm just gonna go Meet Trainer N and get that little uh, TM. Oh, it's HM, I think. TM HM. I think it's a move that the legendary knows, or I think it's actually a, a HM waterfall or dive. I don't know. Either one of those three. I heard you get them around somewhere over here. But uh, if that's not true, then tell me because I gotta check it for myself anyway. Tomorrow, like I said, uh, we have to do the unboxing. And I will show you the Keldor event. I will put a link to that in the description. And I will do the trading card events Monday. Uh, I have some stuff to do from school. So, yeah, after I'm done with all that, I will get straight to the trading cards. Show you guys and uh, hope you enjoy it. Then Tuesday, we are right back into the full-length adventure. After I'm done playing, you know, a little on Black and White 2. And you guys are enjoying yourself on Black and White 2 too. This is a bad matchup. And like I just said, we are going to get back into taking down Victory Road and taking down the Elite Four and then ending it by finishing off the champion. You guys shouldn't even be towards Victory Road yet, I hope, in three days. Uh, if you beat it in three days, you're pretty good. But um, yeah, I wouldn't do that. You know, I would take my time. But by the time you get there, guys, you can check this video out and then the continuation of this from tonight's uh, two, two fledged episode marathon and see what's in store for us on Victory Road and uh, you can get a full taste of it because I'm going to go up ahead and I'm not going to save and I'm just going to check out the place see what I can get past what things y'all can get what's pretty cool and all that yeah but uh, I also heard that you can catch the regular legendary Zacrom and Risharam. I don't know if you can catch both of them, but if you can, it's pretty cool. And guys, look at this route. Oh god. Let me get past it. Look at this route. It is awesome. It is huge as heck. Look at this. I've never seen anything like this in my life. But uh, we are on Victory Road as we speak, and there is Trainer N up there. He's going to give us the HM, TM, whatever it might be. And I will talk to you guys on the next episode of Black and White 2, a.k.a. Episodes of Black 2. I liked that, that animation and just did. He's an awesome guy. He's not a bad guy at all. But I will see you guys in the next episode. Comment, rate, subscribe. See ya, D3, signing out.